Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today we are doing a Lush haul, which is so fun for me to say. I never do Lush hauls and I buy it all the time. I think I like buy it and I'm just so excited to use it. I really don't even think about sharing it with you guys. I just throw it in my shower and before I know it, it's all gone because I just love Lush so very much. I think my love for Lush started like not even kidding in like 2003, 2004. I remember the first time I ever tried Lush was and it could have been like 2005. I don't know. The first time I ever tried it, I was in high school and I went to Minnesota with my family. My family's originally from South Dakota, so they're huge Minnesota Vikings fans. Like once a year, we would go to a Vikings game. And so we'd always have a day where we went to the Mall of America. And I remember watching YouTube and watching girls love Lush and it was such a big deal. I was so excited to go to the Lush store for the very first time. And it just was, it was a wrap from there. One thing I need to know, did they get rid of Honey I Shrunk the Kids soap or Honey, you know what I'm talking about? About. It was like a honeycomb and it was so fantastic and for some reason when I was shopping when I was getting this stuff online I couldn't find that soap and I wanted to have it again So let me know what's going on with that. Is it gone? I'll cry for real. I'll cry. Maybe I just missed it I hope I just missed it. So anyway, what sparked this little haul was their whole Valentine's Day collection I wanted to get some of it so so bad So I got a lot of that and then just some other cool stuff I found on the website. So let's get started first I'll start with like the body soaps and things like that. So this I was unbelievably excited for. I've already used, actually I've already used most of the stuff. It's so good. I can't believe I've never used this. This first thing is the Rose Jam Shower Gel. Sorry, mine's a little dirty. Like I said, I just took it out of my shower, but it's gross. So this is the Rose Jam Shower Gel. It says lather up with a decadent rose absolute vanilla pod infusion and nourishing argan oil. It smells so good. If you're a rose fan like me, mm, honey, it is just, it's rose. Like you open it and you just smell roses and I love that. I got it in the 3.3 fluid ounce size and I know we all know this but if you're new to Lush the coolest thing about it is they have stickers of people who made your product and it has the expiration date like plain as day so you can see how long you can keep it for and I think that is just such a nice touch but it's a beautiful shower gel and I just love the rose scent so very much. The next thing I got is the American Cream Shower Gel. It has cleansing strawberries and uplifting orange juice that go together like Rama Lama Ding Dong they say on there. Okay, one thing I wanted to ask you guys, let me know if you've used this before. I don't know if mine's bad. It's called American Cream, so I'm like, okay, maybe this white part in there is the cream. Well, one side's straight pink, and then one side, it looks a little weird. This one I've not used yet, because I'm unsure if it's okay or not. Did I get a bad one, or is that how it looks? If you know the answer, please let me know. This is also in the 3.3 fluid ounces. It smells delicious. It smells super fancy, super luxurious. Um, definitely strawberries. It says strawberries and orange juice, but I smell a little fresh fragrance in there. It's just, I don't know how to describe it. They say it's intoxicating and it is intoxicating. I love this scent. I don't know if this was one of the new ones or if it's been around, but I got it. It smells great. I'm just scared to use it because of this weird whiteness in there. If you know the deal, please let me know. <laughs> this next thing, oh my gosh, I'm crazy over. I don't think it's new. I don't know. I honestly couldn't tell you. Let me tell you a little fun fact about myself. I have keratosis pilaris, keratosis pilaris, keratosis pilaris, I don't know what it's Called. But you know, you get these little bumps all over your arms and it's basically like an excessive buildup of keratin in the skin. It basically looks like I have acne on my body, which I guess it kind of is. It's blocked pores, so I'm always exfoliating like crazy, but I feel like it's like still not enough. So I just bought another exfoliator. Um, this is the Magic Crystals Shower Scrub. I have not seen a difference in my keratosis pilaris yet, but I do love this. If you have not seen this, wait till I open it up. It smells divine, first of all. Look at this. It is so purple. And when you put this on your body, your body is purple. It washes off. It doesn't stain. It's like it's just so fun. Like I love having fun in the shower. Is that weird? Probably. So this is what it looks like all up close. It is fantastic. It is so refreshing. This is an Epsom salt scrub. It's very minty. So think of a minty scrub, which is what I love about it. It feels so fresh and invigorating. When you look at it, you think it'd be like a berry smell or something or like grape but no it is so mint so I love that um and Epsom salts just feel so good and then your bath water if you take a bath is like you know filled with Epsom salts I don't know I love this though this I've become a diehard fan of and I will definitely be rebuying this because it's just fantastic 
Okay, so then I got some duplicates of the same bath bombs. I got a few different ones, but I did buy extras because I was so obsessed with this whole, like, Valentine's Day theme. So I got the Peachy Bath Bomb, which I am sad to say that a few of my bath bombs were broken. I ordered them online when they arrived. You can see they're just, like, super dinged up. It doesn't, like, bother, bother me because I'm like, it was just going to go in my bath anyway, but they look so cute online. And then when I got it in person, I was like, oh, this is really mangled and there's like chips out of it and some are even worse than this but this is just another bath bomb it's peachy so this one it's like disintegrated in here everything that chipped off of it luckily I did get a few but I think if I'm not mistaken the majority of them broke so I did tweet about that and I'm super bummed and Lush was nice enough to uh, DM me I think this one was okay I mean a little mangled a little weird but for the most part perfectly fine so I tweeted that they were broken and Lush was really sweet and DM to me and they offered to ship me out replacements but unfortunately they were all sold out at the time so they just gave me a refund and I was like you don't even have to like I don't mind using the broken ones they're just gonna disintegrate in the water anyway and they were like no 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 we stand by our products we want to make sure that you know you get what you pay for and I was like wow that is really nice because I was not begging or nothing I wasn't even looking I was just tweeting that I was sad that they were broken I didn't expect to, the brand to ever reach out to me that's never happened before so it was really nice when I was like no don't worry about it they'll work all the same in the water it's it's just as fine and they said no no can't do it very very nice of lush so yeah I just got like I think I got four or five of the peaches because I'm insane two of them were completely crumbled to powder so I already used those in my bath and I did really love them so I also got like three of the eggplants two of them were again completely disintegrated to powder this one I think was okay. Yep. So I know these are like cheesy and silly, but like I needed it. It's the eggplant emoji uh, in a bath bomb. Smells so, so good. I just love bath bombs so that when I saw they had the peachy one and the eggplant one, I had to. If they're still in stock, I want to order a few more because I'm a weird collector like that. I don't know how long bath bombs are good for, but I never want to run out of them because they're just so cute and I'm so cheesy so I did get a few of those again this was the only one that did not break the other ones were completely crumbled to bits so I then got a few other things that I've never like heard of before or used this is this is a bubble bra I don't know what a bubble bra is I need to look into this but this is the bubble bra bubble rune I don't know what a bubble bra is I mean I literally think it's just like a bath bomb that makes bubbles I don't know why it's called the bubble bra because <laughs> you definitely can't wear it as a bra but is this not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen and it smells unbelievably good let me zoom in for you it is so cute I know this is gonna make a glittery mess in my bath and I don't even care it is so gorgeous I like don't even want to use it yeah there's like glitter all over me now just from touching it in fact let's oh love it oh it'd be cool if lush and maybe they do and I don't know this if they made highlighter sticks that you could just go whoop, whoop, that'd be really cool but let me know if you know what a bubble bra is I plan on just throwing it in the tub and seeing what happens but I just thought it was gorgeous this I had never heard of before I don't know if this is new again I typically just buy what I always buy from lush and I don't always look at their newer products which I'm gonna start doing because I thought this was cool I had never seen their shower bombs before this one is the karma shower bomb and I was just like, what? I can use this in the shower? Like, oh, it smells so good. Of course, it probably doesn't like, you know, bubble up or, you know, do anything probably other than release an aroma, I would imagine, if you put it under your shower and it just goes, whoo, and like, makes a whole spa experience. But I was like, that sounds lovely. So I got the little Karma one. Looking at it, I feel like this would like go away after first use because it's so small. So I'm gonna just cut it and use just, you know, if you put the whole thing in, I'm worried it'll all go away in one shower. Sadly, the very last thing I got is the not so, not sleepy shower bomb. Again, another shower bomb. Let me know what your new favorite products are from Lush or what do you always turn to or is there something new you tried recently that you're like crazy over? I would love to get more Lush stuff. This smells good. It's like lemony, maybe some orangey. I think, you know, if you need to wake up, it's a good shower bomb to use because it just smells invigorating and I love 
love that. And is that it? Oh my gosh. It's like you spend so much money and you feel like you should have got more, but then it's like, that's it. And you're like, oh, I could have paid a bill with that. But anyway, that's it for my Lush haul today, you guys. Let me know what you love from Lush. Again, I would love to hear it. A look for Valentine's Day always gets me a little Lush gift basket, which I think is so sweet. Um, So I'm really excited for Valentine's Day. I'm hoping I get some Lush things. Not that I expect anything, but a little, you know, Lush bath bomb would be lovely. So anyway, you guys, yeah, let me know your favorite Lush stuff. Thank you for watching today and I will see you in my next video. By the way, oh my god, I didn't even address that I have two different eye colors on. I filmed this video. It should be up on my channel already. It's actually the worst makeup I've ever used in my entire life. So I will link that down below for you guys if you have any questions about this makeup. It is all in there. Thank you guys for watching. I love you and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!